Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ritnika and you've reached Natural Vibration. This is an update to the Twin Flame reading for this month. I've already done a monthly reading, so if you haven't checked that out, please do that. Um, these are general and will not resonate with everyone. As I mentioned earlier, I'm not doing too many Twin Flame general readings only because I feel like that kind of puts us in a bit of a runner chaser energy, more of a chaser energy. So these, I do them sporadically, but I'm going to try to do more general readings. I have opened up my private readings. So if you're interested in booking a reading, whether it's twin flame, whether it's love, career, self-development, just head on over to my website, naturalvibrations.in. All right, so dear universe, please work with me. What's going on? Aha, what's going on with the twin flame dy union dynamic? this week we've already got one cool another card wow. interesting what's going on with the twin flame union dynamic and one more card i'm gonna pick four cards and there we go oh damn <laughs> all right the first card we have is truth followed by risk, then we've got high priestess, and then we've got burden. That's why I said, oh damn, <laughs> hardcore energies, right? All right, so when it comes to the union energies for this week, it's all about discovery. I feel like this, this week is all about finding out answers to what this situation is, the power we have within us, and what is actually holding us back, all right? Um, when it comes to the divine masculine from this card, I'm getting that they're discovering this union, they're discovering that it is not the twin that is at fault or holding them back, it is their own uh, mindset, their own karmic patterns, their own situations that they kind of need to break out of. So I feel like this week, uh, you know, is a the theme of this month. It's, it's a breakthrough month. We are definitely going through big revelations, understanding things a lot more clearer. When it comes to the divine feminine, I'm getting that she's also understanding her role. I feel like we often forget that um, we are co-creators in this world. And you know how we think make a big difference, how we feel, how our energy is, what kind of uh, thoughts and energies we put out there. All of that makes a huge difference in what you know in, in development. And we have to also realize that if we are negative, if we are, uh, you know, a lot of times we go through patterns where we are like really pissed off and we you know say negative things about our twin and whatnot. That's not going to help us because that's not going to help us grow. That's not going to help us evolve. And I feel like that's what it is. The truth of the matter is that there is a deep spiritual connection here. And whether you guys come into union, whether we all come into union or not, this relationship is sacred. But it's also the other side, because I see a lot of posts on twin flame groups on Facebook and stuff. Your partner is not going to be abusive, all right? So if you're in an abusive situation, that is not your twin. I feel like a lot of people confuse the twin flame dynamic to a very unhealthy, relationship and i'm not saying twin flames are easy they definitely push us they definitely make us grow they definitely test us but they're never abusive they're never uh in that energy of screwing you up completely you get what i'm saying um and the whole point is that we reach an energy where it doesn't matter if you're in union it doesn't matter if it happens or not. It's about being grateful for how much you have achieved and how far you have gotten and how your twin has allowed you to grow. You know, that's the whole point of this twin flame dynamic. We hope that there's union, but that energy of I must have them, I must have them, I must want them, I, oh my God, oh my God, that needs to go, all right? So it's understanding the truth of this situation. Then we've got risk. Now this is interesting. I feel this is more for the uh, for the divine masculine. When they're thinking about this connection, when they're thinking about the how uh, they feel about their twin and how this relationship is actually real, there's also that element of risk, all right? And I feel like they're now realizing that 
it's not there now realizing i feel like it is a risk right it is a risk to get to break out of the norm it is a risk to go back to somebody for example that you haven't spoken to for years it is a risk where you are leaving a karmic situation re leaving a pattern that has served you for so many years whether you are happy or not it is still a devil that you know as they say right versus going into the unknown and for them this is a relationship which is going to be risky you know there's so many different paths in front of them and i feel like this is what the divine masculine is facing right now they're like you know there's so much i can do there's so many different ways paths i can take should i stay should i go should i do this should i do that and it's about them trying to make sense of it all all right and then we've got the high priestess and this card talks about discernment prophecy vision this is all about creating this is all about law of attraction and then we've got the burden card so i feel like both divine masculine and divine feminine have to realize that if they are feeling burdened if they are feeling like that there's so much pressure on them that things are very tough that things are not going to get better if they're in that whole negative lower energy vibration they are co-creators of their world and this is what the card is saying this is saying that look and this is you know what is the truth the truth is saying that there is this connection is it going to be risky hell yes life is a risk right we have no guarantees i mean did you expect a pandemic to come out of nowhere this was supposed to be a big year for me you know um, work wise i was supposed to travel to like so many different countries and I had no idea that everything's going to change so dramatically. Neither did you guys, right? My best friend was supposed to get married who hasn't gotten married because, you know, I can't be there. You know, these kind of things happen. You can't predict. Everything is a risk in a way. So there will always be a risk. And that's part of life. And that's embracing and jumping in with both feet and realizing everything is a risk. So the universe is saying that, you may feel like there's a burden on you. You may feel like, oh my God, I'm stuck in this situation and I can't get out. Oh my God, I'm stuck in this bad relationship. I'm stuck with the bad job. I'm stuck in a situation which is not making me happy. Rather than dwelling on the negative energy, what we have to do is we have to focus on creating and manifesting what it is that we want. You know, there will be burdens in life, but Put that out of your way. Don't focus on the burdens. Focus on what you want to happen. Focus on having your dreams visual, you know, visualized and actualized, okay? You are co-creators. Work on manifesting. Work on being in the energy of as if whatever you want has already happened. Focus on that as if it, you have to live, as Neville Goddard always talks about this, you have to live your life as if what you want has already happened, all right? And because you can create it. Look at her. She's creating this magic potion to get everything she wants. It's her prophecy. It's her vision. This is telling us to focus on our vision, focus on our prophecy, focus on what it is that we want in life, and not focus on things that don't make us happy, not focus on the 3D world, what the current situation is, because this is fluid. The current situation is fluid. It can change overnight. And we do have the power to change our reality, all right? So this is something that's, you know, that's going on this week for both parties. This is something we all need to start paying attention to. I'm going to get some advice card for Twin Flames at this time. We've already got the cow. Any more advice? Wow, you saw that, right? <laughs> The card that jumped out was the dragon, power and strength. And the other card that fell out earlier was the cow, nourishment, abundance, asking and receiving. So the advice for this week for all twin flames is A, the, the card that jumped out like there was no tomorrow, dragon, power, strength. This is telling you, you have the courage to go after what it is that you want. You have the strength to you know, see this through. You have nothing to fear, even though things may seem dangerous, risky, even though you may have the burdens of the world and you feel like, oh my God, I don't know how I'm gonna get through this. I don't know how I'm ever going to get to my happily ever after. They're saying you need to have the strength, you need to have the courage because you are strong enough to get it and at the same time you've got this card which is about abundance nourishment asking and receiving they're telling you 
all you have to do is ask and you will get what you want it's the energy of law of attraction what you give is what you receive so if you're putting out the energy of i already have it then you are going to get that back but if you put out the energy of i can't get it oh it's too tough when am i gonna get it what's happening oh no oh no that's what you're gonna get back remember it's about focusing and living as if you already have it and at the same time it is telling you that you are attracting abundance you're attracting you know wellness you're attracting all the goodness in the world because you are strong enough all right i think this was a beautiful message for this time i wish you guys all the best take care